Sun Belt Conference matchup between the Regent Cajuns from Louisiana Lafayette and the Arkansas State Red Wolves. Hi, everybody. Good to have a big return guy, and we'll see whether or not each of these guys has a chance to return one tonight, not on the opening kickoff. Knight versus Texas State. Nixon's going to dump it off for Al Riles, and they're going to lose a yard on the play. Nixon, who led the team's out now on second down. And it's Torrey Pierce, and he's shut down for a loss. 41-yard attempt now by Stevie Arteague. Plenty of distance, and it is no good. So, missing on the 40. Settled in and started to get in the rhythm of that offense. Second down has his target, Darian Griswold, and he gets the first. Up at the 30. Nice throw across the middle, first down. First carry from Michael Gordon tonight. Breaks free up the middle. And Gordon into Louisiana Lafayette territory at the 39. Finally, TJ. He's been making plays around there for a long time. Knighton and the pressure as it breaks down. Now he's going to take off. Look out as Freddie Knighton to the sideline. He's going to set up first and goal. Utah State. And they go back to Gordon. Gordon stretching to the goal line. Touchdown, Arkansas State. Now goes backward and is tripped up by Justin Clifford. Warren Wan is in the backfield. He'll get his first carry tonight. It's a good one for a first down after he's ripped down by Travis Crawford. But Wan... Second down, Arkansas State. And here he goes again. Look out, White down the sideline, and he has the touchdown. Johnston White. 21-yard score, the second of the game for the Red Wolves. We talk about how banged up this offensive line is. Watch number 72, Joe Backus at right tackle, down the field blocking, engaging his guy. Has a couple of touchdowns so far in the season. He's averaging six yards a carry. And it's because of this. There he goes. Breaking tackles, and he fumbles the ball. Although his shoe came off, he still has it. And Juan gets down to the 25. A flag comes in at the end. <laughs> Garner, out comes something flying. And I said... Oh, he's the one that hit Juan the play before. Now Knighton to the end zone, and a wide open. Darian Griswold for the touchdown. Look out. Well, we talk about not seeing much through the air, and Griswold miscommunication with the receivers, and the passes have been behind him. There's Nixon, and uh, Arkansas State's just ready for everything tonight. Leading the charge, Cody Brown. Stop. Elijah McGuire, the better off they'll be. Haven't forced any turnovers tonight, but they haven't given up any yards, and there's the first. Look at it, intercepted by Cody Brown. Brown goes to the sideline. Brown stays in bounds. He has the touchdown. His third interception of the season, and this one run back for six. And Mike, we just talked about it. They're making. If you get a turnover for Arkansas State, you get the belt. A little bit of pressure on Jalen Nixon. It forced a bad throw. Cody Brown's right there. On Brad has been energized. It's a keeper by Nixon. Look out. Here's Jalen Nixon after another great fake to McGuire and Nixon. Makes a play and is going to get a touchdown for Louisiana Lafayette. 75 yards. Not see a three and out as they pick up the first after the penalty. Now Juan, shifty to the outside, making them miss. And into Louisiana Lafayette territory for the first down. Night in, up top, over the middle, and wide open. Caught. Touchdown, Arkansas State. They do it again. And Chris Murray. If I'm mistaken, that's Chris Murray's first catch on the season. He goes vertical, but the safety, Tracy Walker, does not expect him to bend toward the middle of the field. And when he does, he's wide. In and first and goal now. McGuire. Bumping it to the outside, McGuire, touchdown, Louisiana Lafayette. With 20. Up the first. There's Trocene, Tyler Trocene now, getting into the act for Arkansas State. And 
Gets Gordon again. Now oh, check it white. Players blocking in front. Good job. This opening drive of this second half. They just took a timeout. Now a reverse play. And Trez Houston is going to throw the pass. Looking for one. And Wood has it down to the two-yard line. And does not get it to go. This is unreal. So six after starting the game two of 17. Now going for the end zone. I think going out of bounds is the receiver that time. It's intercepted, though, by Arkansas State's Money, now, Money Hunter. Now the referee. Second interception by Arkansas State today. And they'll have game for you, Lafayette. <laughs> Option and Knighton with some free space ahead. Tripped up just across midfield. Knighton uncomfortable back there. Drop out. And good blocking by the offensive line. Knighton goes up top, and the catch is made. Good reception by Tyler Trocine. Stayed perfect at four for four. And he does just that. So 37 to 14. They got the 42. They need some work to make them a dual balanced team. And he's got a free man here open, and it is McGuire who makes the man miss. Elijah McGuire still on his feet. And the longest play of the night. And they finally got him involved 35 times tonight. Keep going in the, to 15's way. Yeah, McGuire's really asking for the ball, and he's finally starting to get it here. Now he's caught in some trouble in the backfield. And Riles, a converted defensive back slash linebacker, and got him on the other side of the ball. And now here he goes again, and still at his feet over the goal line wow. for the touchdown. Al Riles, what an effort for Louisiana Lafayette. Comfortable with the big lead that they have, and they missed a field goal in one of their drives. Now going up top here, and this pass is intercepted. Picked off, Louisiana Lafayette, Savion Brown. And that's what they needed. Brown with the pass. That's yeah, that may come back to haunt them. Yeah. Nixon. From McGuire, oh, what a catch! Gets by the defender and has the touchdown. How did he make that grab? Elijah McGuire. So McGuire behind Nixon, fakes the pass. Here's McGuire, and that's not going to get it done. And a little bit too much there. And Fuselay tried to get McGuire in the flat. That's what's worked. McGuire rolls out in the flat. There he is. He has it. Needs to make a move, though, and he's not going to get the first down. Out of bounds at the 28. Needed to get to the 25. Again, fourth down and 10. to keep the Rage of Cajuns alive with 2.23 left. Nixon stands tall, but it is incomplete and almost intercepted. And again, looked like maybe miscommunication there. Fusel oh, Arkansas State gets it done. Over Louisiana Lafayette tonight, 10.1. And I'll tell you what, remember, this was a vengeance game for Arkansas State. They lost to this one in pretty much of a blowout fashion last year. They came back, great offensive game plan, running the football and the defense game.